For families of individuals with special needs, it can be a challenge to find a place where a child feels included or part of a team. One Fond du Lac County woman noticed and decided to combine her love for dance and those with special needs to create a group where everyone feels like a shining star. Emerson Lehman shares her story. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. For Audra Stuffel, I could read special a lot. Showtime is the best time. I'm dancing to the, my giant star Wars dance team. Now in her seventh year, Audra has been a member of the special needs dance group since the beginning. Twirling and trumpeting around to the delight of an adoring audience and a proud mom. It brings me to tears every time. Vicki Stuffel admits raising a child with special needs can present some challenges. As a parent, everybody wants their child to be included and involved and part of part of a team or part of a group. Our kids don't often get that opportunity, sad to say. Stuffel and the families of the 20 other members of the Shining Stars dance team found the opportunity thanks to the vision, hard work, and dedication of Mary Bilgo. You know, there isn't much for them to be part of and to be a team. A former dance coach at Camel Sport High School, Bilgo was inspired to start a group for kids with special needs after growing up with a younger brother who had cerebral palsy. Point your finger. Now, with help from her assistant, Jody Garvey, and members of the Camel Sport dance team, the group helps over 20 special needs individuals ranging from ages 5 to 36 experience what it's like to dance as a part of a team. I think you think they should be treated differently, but most of the time, you just treat them like your own kids. If they're not doing something right, you correct them. Yep. And if they're, you know, doing something great, you know, you pat them on the back. So, but they're really smart kids. The performances bring a smile to the faces of the dancers and audiences alike, as well as the volunteers helping make it all possible. You can't be sad. Like, no matter what's going on in your life, you can't be sad when you're around these kids. This is crazy to see how much this means to them. This is their one thing that they have to look forward to every week, and to be a part of something that means so much to them is really just very special. The group currently features dancers from five different communities in Washington, Dodge, Sheboygan, and Fond du Lac counties. Woo! Bilbo has a special relationship with each and every one of them. They'll let me know when I forget something. <laughs> so they're usually way ahead of me. She's hopeful to be able to pass on her love for dance to more families looking for a free opportunity to help their child be a part of a team. Anyone is welcome to come. So with any special need, um, that would be great. So that first year when the kids usually start, it's a tough transition year. And once they kind of get rolling and they've done it a few times, they got it. Something that they can belong to and be part of and feel special. When that happens and you see that, it just brings so much joy. Can't, it's hard to explain. As for Audra, she plans to keep bringing that joy for years, even decades to come. I've been thinking like 10 or 100. I will just keep dancing and I just love doing it and I just go do it all year.